Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Queen & Company just keeps releasing more and more amazing products. Their newest release is their Fall Sentiment Stacker Set. So let me show you everything that's included. And this is very similar to their Halloween Sentiment Stacker Set that I recently showed. So for this set, you're going to receive three word dies along with the outlines. So we have Thankful, Gather, and Blessed. And there's also a small sentiment stamp set, and these coordinate perfectly with those word dies. Lots of great sentiments for the fall season, and then there's that one small leaf. And the kit also includes a package of gloobers. So these are basically six by six double-sided adhesive sheets, perfect for using the foil. And then you'll receive a lovely set of foils. I am showing 10 different foils, but due to a manufacturing issue, there will only be nine included in the kit, and Queen & Company has adjusted the price for that missing foil. And Queen & Company's foil is super easy to use. You don't need to heat set it, you just adhere it to anything sticky. So this is where those gloobers come in handy. You can also use red line tape, There's so many different options. So let's go ahead and get to my cards. So card number one, I'm using a sketch from Sketch Saturday. This is number 478. And the paper collection, all of them are gonna be by Queen & Company. This is their Happy Harvest paper collection. It was released last fall. Super excited to see what paper collection will be coming out for this fall. So I'm using this beautiful leaf pattern paper for the background. I cut one inch strips and my plan originally was to make sure they were all still lined up. That's why I had them in this perfect little stack. But then once I started adhering them to the paper, I obviously flipped one of them the wrong way. So even though they're not perfectly in the order that they were on the pattern paper sheet, I think it still works out really fun for this background. So I adhere the outside pieces, and then I'm just kind of working my way in to make sure they're all nice and straight. And then I pulled out some of this yellow checkered paper, and then also one of Queen & Company's brand new border dies. They recently released four different border die sets, and they still have all of them as a bundle on sale. So if you are interested in checking those out, I will include a link in the description box because I will be using several of the border dies in this video. And just to add a little extra interest to this strip, I cut out just a really thin piece of this brown cardstock, adhered it just with some liquid adhesive to the top portion of this border strip. And I'll just use some more liquid adhesive, and then I'm just gonna attach this to the lower part of the card. So it's not part of the sketch, but I always like to add just some little extra touches since sketches really are just a starting point of inspiration. Now on this main rectangle piece that's going to go in the center of the card, I'm going to add one of the twines. So this is included in the yellow package and it has a gold thread along with some white. So I just wrapped it around this piece three times. I'll adhere the ends to the back using some of the red line tape. And then I'm gonna pop up this whole section using some foam dimensional tape. And since this is a fairly large piece that's going on the card, I wanna make sure that none of it's going to sag. So I'm gonna cover the entire back with some foam tape. I'll remove all of those backings ahead and adhere it. Try to get it nice and centered or straight on my card. Then I'll go ahead and put my card front onto a card base. And then another thing I like to do is add just a thin strip of the pattern paper on the inside of the card and that's just for some extra detail. So now I'm going to cut out the backing of the word blessed. I'm going to use the gloober sheet, so I cut out just a small piece. I'll remove the white backing and then attach it on some heavyweight white cardstock. And then to peel off that clear backing, I'm just using a piece of scotch tape. Rub it on there and it peels all of that off super easy. So now I pulled out one of the glitter foils. This is the yellow color. And all I'm doing is pressing it, rubbing it real 
not hard, but nice and secure onto this adhesive. And if there's any little spots that get missed, you can just take some more of that foil and press it right back on. And then I went and cut it out, cut out this word outline. So you can also cut out the word first and then add the foil. It works either way. So I've been experimenting both ways to see which one I prefer. And I really don't have a preference. They both work perfectly. And then for the word blessed, I just cut this out with some light tan, kind of a cream cardstock. I'm going to add some liquid adhesive to the back and then glue that right onto this outline word. Now the video doesn't really stand out a whole lot, but it does show more without the overhead lights reflecting so much on that glitter foil. So go ahead and tie my little bow underneath the word. And then I'm using some more of the pattern paper from the paper pad. It's just a nice light tone on tone color. And then I stamped grateful, thankful, and layering that on some more of this brown cardstock. And then I'll attach that sentiment right above the word blessed. And that very left hand side of the sentiment hangs off of that paper. So I'm just going to put a small piece of foam tape and then just some ATG on the other side. So then I'll pull out some of the bling so I can finish off this card. I have some of the bullseyes, some pearls, and then also the iridescent bubbles. I love the fall colors. Fall cards are always my favorite to make. So there is my finished card, and that is card number one. And now moving on to card number two. This sketch is MFT sketch number 261. And again, I'll be using the Happy Harvest paper collection for this card. I chose some green tone on tone pattern paper for the background. And then I have this polka dot paper for this square that's in the center part of the card. And I cut that out with a stitched square die. Adding my dark brown layers to all of the pieces. And I love adding matted layers to my cards. Always add such a nice contrast. So I'll put my card front onto my card base. I used some brown polka dot paper for this wider strip that goes across the card and then pulled out this teal leaf paper. Used one of the wavy dies. This is one of the border dies. And then just put that right underneath this brown paper just to add a little extra interest to the card. Love these border dies. They all have a nice faux stitching to them. And then for that little triangle that's in that upper left hand corner. I'm just using some solid orange cardstock. I felt like if I used any more of the pattern papers, the card might have been just a little too busy. So now I'll go ahead and do the thankful word. So again, using one of the gloober pieces, attaching it to some cardstock. And then this time I'm going to cut out the word first. And then I'm going to remove that clear backing. So you can see I just used a piece of tape and then just peeled it right off. Super simple. And now I'll adhere the foil. So this is like a rose gold color. It's really pretty. One of their metallic looks. So the die is just slightly wider than the foil, but that's okay. You can still use this foil. It works perfectly. You'll just take extra foil and then attach it, kind of rub it onto all of those other pieces that didn't get any of the foil yet. So I'm just getting the tops of some of those letters. And then again, if there's any little spots where the foil didn't adhere, you just take some more and press it in place and you can't even see any of those little spots. So now for the word, I'm going to cut this out using some of the orange glitter foam. And this is Queen and Company's glitter foam. It is self adhesive. So I'm just popping out the center of all of those letters. And then slowly working it onto the foil, trying to hold up the end, like the other side, the opposite side while I'm working on it, because I don't want it to accidentally touch the foil because it will pull off some of that. So just slowly working it around that outline. And there is that beautiful sparkle and shine. And then I decided I'm going to pop up this word using some thin foam squares. So in those really narrow spots, I just cut those foam squares in half. 
remove all of those little backers and then attach it onto my card. And then for the rest of the sentiment, I'm just using the Let Us Be. Stamped it again on just some solid cardstock. This is just a real light color. Layered it with some brown cardstock. And then I'm going to put it right above the thankful word, just kind of where the gap with the A and the N are. So since it will hang off of this polka dot paper, I did use some thin foam squares on that top part of the little sentiment and then just some ATG for the rest. So now I'm going to finish off my card using some more of the bling. So I have some bullseyes, some pearls, and also some petite posies. So here is my finished card and this is card number two. Now moving on to card number three. I'm using freshly made sketches number three. Kind of perfect for card number three. So for this card, I'm probably pushing it a little. I'm going outside of the whole fall autumn color palette. I'm using the Happy Hearts paper collection, which is one of my favorites from Queen and Company. And now I'm using another one of the border dies. This is a scallop with that nice faux stitching. Layering all of this paper in this beautiful pearlescent cardstock. I just put that scallop border right underneath this red polka dot paper. And then on this rectangle piece, since part of it is hanging off of those layers, this cardstock I'm using is a little bit thicker. I just put another piece of cardstock underneath that right hand side, just so it's nice and even on the card. So I have my card front attached to my card base, add a small piece of pattern paper on the inside of the card. And now I can start working on my sentiment. So again, I'm going to have my little gloober sheet attaching it onto some just white cardstock, removed the backing. And now I'm going to use this beautiful red foil. I love this sparkle. This is one of the glitters. I'm just using two rows and kind of missed part in the middle. So once again, you can just take the leftover piece of the foil and just press it onto any little spots that you miss. So I'll go ahead and cut out the word gather. This is the outline for the word gather. And then I cut out the word gather using some of a Queen and Company's just plain white foam. This is included in their neutrals collection. Removing all the little centers from the words. And then I'll just slowly work that word, all those letters, onto that outline. It's really easy to do because this foam is self-adhesive. So I'll just use some of Queen & Company's sheer glue to attach this onto this chevron gray pattern paper. And then where those circles are on the sketch, I decided I'm going to use some hearts since it goes well with the rest of the pattern paper. And this heart die is from one of Queen & Company's foundation die sets. So I wanted to add some foil to both of these hearts. So once again, I have some cardstock, adding the gloober sheet. And I'm going to use the silver foil that's included in the fall kit. It's kind of a matte silver. So one thing you have to note on this foil, the back side is also silver and then the main side, the front side is silver. So make sure you get the correct side. You'll know when you put it down because it's not going to release anything. You're just going to have a piece of foil stuck to your adhesive and that's no fun. So I cut that out. It does look white only because of my overhead lights. Now for the second heart, I'm using another one of Queen & Company's foils. So this doesn't come in the fall kit. This is one of their pearl foils. So it's sheer, but it has this beautiful soft pink color. I mean, there's 10 different colors included in this set, and this is the first time I tried the pearl, and it's really pretty. So now I have a silver heart and then that pink heart. Go ahead and stamp my sentiment. So this is together with grateful hearts. Thought that worked really well with the word gather. 
I decided not to layer this little banner piece using any of the red cardstock. I think it still stands out just enough. And I really want the gather word to really be the focal anyway. So go ahead and add my two hearts and any of the little spots that hang off of the edge. I'll just put a small piece of foam dimension. Once again, just trying to keep things nice and even on the card. And I'll do the same on the silver heart. And I do press it down using just some cardstock instead of my fingers all the time, just to avoid fingerprints or scratches on that foil. So I'm going to add just a small little stitched banner in that upper right hand corner. Pop up just the top of it with some extra cardstock. Now I'll go ahead and add all of the bling. And I decided this card already had plenty with the pearlescent paper and the foil. So I just put three little pieces of bling on there, some jelly gems, and one of their hearts. So there is my finished card, and that was card number three. So now moving on to card number four, going back to the Happy Harvest paper collection. This is a fall kit after all. I'm not using a card sketch this time, just focusing on some of the foundation die pieces. So I have this larger banner, this diagonal strip, and also that scallop circle are all part of the foundation dies. So I want to add some foil as kind of the matted layer to this diagonal strip. So I just used a pencil to add a real light line of where that diagonal strip will go. And then I'm adding some quarter inch red line tape just outside of that pencil line. That way I know I'll have a thin border. So I'm going to use the green glitter foil. I'll go ahead and peel off the backing on the red line tape. I'll just rub that foil right onto the adhesive and then just peel it off. And then I'll do the same on that other strip. And this foil is wide enough that I could do both of those strips using the same piece of foil. So isn't that beautiful? Love this glitter foil. It's got a beautiful sparkle. So I'll just add that little diagonal strip. Make sure to center it between those foil pieces. And then the ends kind of hang off just a little bit. So I just snip those off using some scissors. And I'll add that onto some brown cardstock for some matted layer. Add my banner in the center of the card. And I have made several cards using this same design. Really simple with the foundation dies. And it's always a fun design anyway. So I wrap some yellow twine on along the top of the card twice around and then I'll just adhere the back using some of the red line tape. I'll add more ATG and then attach my card front onto my card base. And for this card I did decide to leave just that thin white border of the card base showing. I'll tie my little bow and try not to fuss with it too much because I do tend to with my bows. And I'll put some adhesive on the back of this scallop circle, attach that to my card. And for this card, I cut out the, the word and the outline just using some cardstock. So I have that dark brown cardstock for the outline and then a nice yellow for the word. So just put some adhesive on the back and then I'll attach it right onto that outline. And then I'm going to pop it up using some thin foam squares. So again, any of those really small pieces, I had already cut some in half. And then I'll try to center that. It's going to be a little bit higher than the middle of the circle because I'm going to add this sentiment banner right underneath it. So I'll go ahead and stamp the rest of the sentiment. And this is, there is always something to be thankful for, which is so true. Layer that on some brown cardstock. And then I'll just adhere that right underneath the thankful word. So now to finish off the card, I'm going to use some of Queen & Company's bling. 
I love the bullseyes, so you might notice I keep grabbing those again and again. They're just so pretty. So I have the bullseyes, some more of the pearls, and then the petite posies. So there is a, my finished card, and this is card number four. Now moving on to card number five, and this is my final card using the Happy Harvest paper collection once again. I have this background orange paper cut out using a stitched rectangle die. I also used that stitched rectangle die for that leaf paper. So now I'm using one of the on point border dies. This is one of Queen and Companies. Just adhered it onto that orange stripe paper using some washi tape so I knew where my placement was going to be. So I just have that little bit of the leaves peeking out from the bottom. So I'll add a little scalloped rectangle. This is from one of Queen & Company's foundation die sets. I'm going to add my card front onto a card base. Put my little pattern paper piece on the inside of the card. And now I'll go ahead and start working on the gather word. So again, I'm putting my gluber sheet onto some of the white cardstock. I'll peel off that clear backing using a piece of scotch tape. And then for this card, I'm going to use the orange crushed diamond foil. It's got a beautiful sparkle to it. You can see I missed that little strip right between the two of them. But once again, just use some of the leftover foil, press it in place, and it fills in all of those little gaps. So that I cut out the word or the outline of the word gather. And then use some of the yellow glitter foam for the word gather. And then after I have the backing removed from that glitter foam, I can just attach the word inside of that outline. And then I'll use some liquid adhesive to attach it to the card. And the nice thing about using the foam for the word, when you're pushing this onto your card, you can give it a nice good push and you're not going to get any of your fingerprints on the foil because you're pushing onto that foam instead. So the sentiment, I took a chance and I stamped it directly onto my card. The sentiment is together, give thanks, eat pie. Now I'm just adding a couple of stitched banners in that upper left hand side. I cut one out of some of the dark brown cardstock and another with this yellow cardstock layering them on top of each other, just offset slightly, and I'm just adhering them in place using some of the red line tape. And then I decided to add some of these little stitched flowers. So again, this is a die that's included in one of Queen & Company's foundation die sets. So there's three different sizes. I'm going to use two in this video. And on one of them, I'm just having them just using the yellow cardstock and then the other two I'm going to use some more of the foil. So this is that beautiful rose gold foil. So I'm going to add the foil onto the gluber sheets. Go ahead and cut out those flowers. Aren't those pretty? And then I'll attach all of the flowers just using some liquid adhesive. Because of all that stitching on the flower, I felt like I could still give it a little push without adding all of my fingerprint onto that foil, and it was okay. I did include just a small piece of the foam tape on that upper left-hand flower, just because it was hanging off of those banners slightly. And now just to add some embellishments, I'm just using some of the petite flowers and just put them in the center of all of those die-cut flowers. So there is my finished card, and this is card number five. And now here's just a quick recap of the cards I made using Queen & Company's Fall Sentiment Stackers Kit. And I did end up making two of each design, even though I didn't show them earlier. This kit is so much fun with all of the beautiful foil and these fun fall sentiments. I love that it includes a bunch of gluber sheets as well, so you're ready to go and start attaching all of that beautiful foil. I have included a link in the description box for this kit along with all of the other products used in this video. I always enjoy using Queen & Company's products, and this kit was a lot of fun. 
So do let me know which card was your favorite and did I make that pink and red heart work even though it's a fall kit? I think it worked out. My husband wasn't so sure, but it was still a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.